Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. This is a great one today. I'm Bill Jelen from MrExcel.com. We're joined by Mike Gurren from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 132. 10.2 means 10 and two-thirds innings. All right, great question sent in today. It's baseball season here in the United States. In fact, I'm taking my nephew to the baseball game uh, tonight. Major League Baseball, the pitcher's earn run average is measured in third of an innings because there's three outs in an inning. But the stats sheets show it as 10.2, meaning 10 and two-thirds of an inning. Is there a formula to show two-thirds as 0.2? Mike, shameless promotion here. I had to write this book. I got to write this book. And this is the third edition of this book. And back in the first edition, back in 2007, they said you have to cover every Excel function, every one of them. And there's 468 of them now. So, you know, I had to I had to come up with a real life use for every single Excel function. And because of that, I remember this amazing solution. And this was created for the stock traders back in the days when stocks were reported in eighths. And back then, 10.4 meant 10 and 4 eighths, not 10 and 4 tenths. Uh, so here's the number, and we want to show it in fractions uh, where each 0.1 is a third. This is unbelievable, a function to solve this exact problem, exactly like the, the uh, person wants it. And to go back, equal dollar DE, uh, that comma and thirds will go back the other way. So they had two functions built in that do this exact thing. Now, they created it for stock traders, but hey, it works for baseball statisticians as well. So all the uh, money ball, the people who are really doing that, that money ball statistics, um, they have a solution here. Now, let's assume uh, that uh, we didn't have those functions. A different way to go is equal mod of this number, comma one. That gives us the, um, the just the decimal portion. All right, so it cuts off the um, the, the integer and gives us just the decimal and let's show a few more decimal places here. All right, so we have our mod there. I'm going to use the text function to take that answer and show it in a fractional 0 divided by 3 custom number format, which gets me the fraction. So 0 thirds, 1 third, 2 third, but we don't need the divided by 3. So I'm going to use the left of that comma 1. That gets me the portion that should appear after the decimal place. And so we will divide by 10, which gets us the 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so on. And then um, finally, uh, we just have to add back in the original number, the integer of that A9, and copy it down. At this point, we have one too many decimals, so we'll go back, decrease decimal. So there's the answer without using dollar fr or dollar de if you want to go back the other way uh, same thing we'll take the mod of this comma one uh, which gives us the fraction the part that goes after the decimal place let's multiply that whole thing times 10 and then divide by 3 which will get us uh, the the 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 converted back to a fraction and then finally just the uh, integer of the original value and it converts it back. All right, so dollar DE and dollar FR, two old, old functions left over from the days uh, when stock traders reported eighths as you know, 10.7 meant 10 and 7 eighths. Works here for this baseball example. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Ah, but we caught you this time. Mr. Excel just created this super extra long, unnecessarily long formula just to disguise the genius of dollar $fr, dollar $de. Stock functions we're using for baseball. Man, how cool is that? So, you know, I don't really have much choice here because check this out. That formula right there is the formula I was going to use to go from the uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 to the decimal. However, for the decimal to the 0 0.1, 0.2, that long formula Mr. Excel does, basically we're going to do the same formula here, but instead of uh, multiplying by 10 and dividing by 3, you just multiply by 3 and divide by 10. So that will work. Uh, but I'm never going to use these formulas again. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to copy Mr. Excel. I'm just going to do it slightly a different way. 
How about I start over here? Broop. Equals DO, down arrow, down arrow, tab, left arrow, comma, 3 will be our denominator, Control, Enter. Control C, I'm going to come over here and Control V. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for find and replace Control H. I am going to search for FR and replace with DE. Yes, find and replace works on formulas. Replace all. Click OK, click Escape, and no way. Mr. Excel gets 10 points. Hey, all right, Mike, that was good. I love the uh, find and replace over here with Control A. You know, I, I told Mike offline that the first time I recorded this, I figured out the dollar $FR and I could not figure out the way to go back. And so over on the right hand side, I actually used that long formula. It's like I, I just had this nagging feeling that there was a way to go back. And it was actually when I was watching my first video to edit it that I noticed here in this tooltip, the dollar DE. I always thought that was like somehow related to German dollars or something like that, which of course is ridiculous because it's Deutschmarks. Um, uh, but that's when I said, oh, that's the one I needed right there. It was right there in front of me the whole time. It's funny how sometimes uh, we see things in Excel and don't really focus on them at all. So dollar FR and dollar DE. How do you like that? Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun.